Welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? So I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm established. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Sita Jones. But before that, I would like to say thank you for watching the show live at a later date. As it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angel cards, angelic reiki, meditation, hypnosis, to help women who forget lost feel clear on their destiny. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, and a mini guided meditation angel card reading with the wisdom of mindful guests like today's guest, Sita Jones, who will be sharing her story, If I Can, You Can. Sita has been on a journey to shed the pounds she has gathered over the years and decided that to help her, she would start a blog called Sita's Health Blog to be called her eating exercise to help motivate and reach her eventual goal. Sita's blog has not only been helping her, but has been inspiring other women who are on their own journey to not just lose weight, but get healthier too. As part of this journey, Sita decided to run a 10K for charity and we called her experience as she trained for it. With the support of her husband, family, friends, and those following her journey, Sita has been losing the weight, but more importantly, getting healthier and fitter every day. Sita is truly an inspiration. So without further delay, hello Sita and welcome to the show. How are you today? No way, not bad, thank you. Yeah, good, thank you. Sure, good. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments, as both uh, Sita and I want you to be part of the show. So please don't be shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone who watches um, or makes comments um, live once the show is finished. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please give it a thumbs up so and subscribe so you can get updates on all my future shows. So, Sita, why don't you tell us all about yourself and how your journey has progressed? Well, my journey has really, really progressed. Um, just going over from from the past, I used to comfort eat because that was just a way of getting over my problems and and I, it made me in sort of like a safe place. Um, but the kids are growing up, they're doing their own thing and I wanted more for me. And my health was starting to suffer and I just it's all about mindset and trying to get into a positive um, regime really um, I went for counseling which was a tremendous help and I actually started to do counseling myself and I'm at level three and I'm going with my training and stuff um, but having that opened like the curtains if you like and a bit of light came in and the more light that came in the more confident I became and the pounds were sort of starting to come off but I thought what would really inspire me to, to get that mindset and get the focus was to do a, a 10k run last July which I signed up and it's just one of those things that you think oh yeah that's fine I'll do it <laughs> And then it suddenly dawns on you and you think, oh, have I already done that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But January I started training for it and just at home on a treadmill. And then a friend of mine, and it's really funny sort of how fate plays a part because a friend of mine sort of messaged me and said, if you're doing this, if you want help, guidance, whatever, um, I'll come with you and that was Kerry so we did it together a few times before the actual 10k and my, my husband and daughter came with me to London for it and the night before the anxiety kind of hit and anxiety is something that I've dealt with in the past it it, it just the fear, I think, and and but with confronting it, um, it's really sort of helped with with getting over the stumbling block. Anyway, the anxiety kind of 
reared itself on the Saturday night. So I was sort of like in my own headspace. And then Sunday I thought, right, that this is it. And the atmosphere in London, it just pulls you through. And because you're with a load of other joggers, runners, walkers, whatever, it doesn't matter whether I ran, walked, jogged, whatever, but for me it was a goal of, of jogging the whole 10K, which I knew I could do because I'd done it with Kerry. So I just went at my pace. At first, when everybody goes, you just sort of get sort of swamped running at other people's paces. But I thought, oh, if I'm going to carry on, I'm not going to be able to survive. <laughs> <laughs> so then I, I, I got my mindset back in to just go at the pace that I did with Kerry and then you just get into a routine and even though I was jogging on my own for a lot of it because I was just doing it at my pace when I saw sort of the end in sight that wave of self-achievement and the belief within in yourself within myself was absolutely huge and it made you think if you set your mind to doing whatever you can and I came back and I, I was sore for a little while but you get over it <laughs> um but the, the the so the exercise was is brilliant and I enjoy it now and I still sort of go out jogging and walking and stuff um, but I needed to get my mindset on to more now. I'm sort of coming up to nearly four stone that I've lost. Wow, amazing. Thank you. I've got another six to go, but I'm just doing them in bite-sized chunks. Yes. Yeah. It's too huge to think about if it's another sort of six stone. But mm. I'm with um, Steve Miller with Fat Gnosis now, and... The mindset and the solutions and just it's not about food no foods to be you can eat anything it's just smaller portions and it it's just getting the balance so that's what I'm now focusing on and I don't I'm busy so I'm not really thinking about food during the day like I used to I'll be thinking Oh, what can I have for breakfast? What can I have for lunch? What can I have for dinner? And that's all my mind was focusing on. Yeah. But when you're busy and and it is and, and I, my poor body has been carrying the, a huge amount of weight and I'm lucky that I haven't had major health issues. Mm. But in two years time I'm 50 and I want my 50s to be like when I was in my 20s and <laughs> even with the, the the nearly four stone loss I didn't get out of bed I don't ache my knees don't creak my ankles function <laughs> 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 you know and it's just I love it because we're doing the blog the amount of support and I hope that I give people inspiration and you can do it and it's having that value value yourself really and you deserve to have the body that you want and you can achieve whatever and and meeting people and this is where fate again comes in the right people come along and they support you they give you the breaks if one door closes don't see it as a negative it's just leading you to something better and that's where where I am really and I know now that I will get down to eight stone ten and that will be ten stone that I would have lost at the end of it and I want to do it by this time next year I would have done it no you would you will have done it I by will. this time you will have done it <laughs> I will. you will have you will have done it yeah. Um, if you're if you're watching this, please do say hello so we so that we know know that you're here, um, because we can't. Um, when as you say hello, we can't actually see who's here, and we can't actually say hello back. 
hello back to you. So how did you find the challenge of actually getting up every morning to actually do the training for the for the tank? How I many did you do your training in the morning? Did you do it in the evening? Did you do it during the day? How did you get yourself, um, you know, to do it? Especially if it was the first thing in the morning, you know, you get out of bed and it's like, oh, I can't be bothered to do anything. <laughs> It, it's for me I sort of psyched myself up and thought I've got to do this because every step I took I hurt and it's like it's people say it will get easier and I'm thinking they're lying but that they weren't they weren't clearly and it's it's just I just push myself and I could only go as far as my body would let me Mm -hmm. but it because it was important and it was for Road Victims Trust that I was doing it for, having that as a goal just spurred me on more and more. Um, and it sort of built its own momentum as well because some days you think, oh, I really don't. And there were some days when I just couldn't face it. I was going to say, this cold and miserable out. And... Oh, but it's like, just dig deep. And and when I started and I and I was five minutes in, I could start to feel better. And it, and it puts you in a more positive frame of mind. And then at the end, when you're all sweaty and oof, and have a shower, but after the shower, you, you're then ready for the day. And it... It was had a real positive spin, and it it was great. And I, and now when I go, it's a freedom, and it's like I can do this now, and I'm not huffing and puffing. Well, I am, but not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you you can probably run um, run a lot further and longer than I than than, than I can because um, I I really don't. Apart from apart from yoga, I really don't do any exercise. Um, so, so you'd be you'd be going, come on, right? I'm going, yeah, give me a minute, give me a minute, <laughs> and that because that's the thing, isn't it? It's not just about the losing the weight; it's actually getting healthier, and Definitely. and 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 that you know, with with your fitness and um, you know, your your eating and that. So, you, so you're saying that you're kind of like eating smaller portions now. Does that mean you've got a smaller plate and? And um, everything, or you just cut? I'm just cutting right down and thinking, well, the portions that I used to, it, I think now, crikey, they're enough for two, three people. But because I always thought oh, I'm going to be hungry, don't know why, so I'd have bigger portions and it just became habit. But because I also tell myself I'm not hungry. I mean, I eat enough, but I don't, I tell myself that I don't, I don't need any more. I've, I've had a meal, I'm satisfied. I don't get that real bloaty feeling of, oh, God, you know, I can't move anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and then if, if I'm still hungry, I might be thirsty, so I have water or whatever. And then as Steve from Fat Gnosis says, have a look at it but then walk away because it's just calories that you're putting in that you don't actually need okay so i walk away i go and brush my teeth have a bath go for a walk and then it kind of just distracts your mind and you forget about it and then but, so it's, it's kind of like doing so it's kind of like if you're feeling hungry you know, drink water first of all to see whether it is that. And then if it's not, do something that's going to distract you. But obviously something that you like doing, not something that you hate, like going to do washing up or dusting. I yes. Think dusting. <laughs> but that's another story. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't do the housework. That good exercise, though. Yes, it, it is. It's, <laughs> yes, yes, it, it is. It is good exercise, but probably not to do when you're hungry. <laughs> no, because <laughs> <laughs> you want to do you want to do more 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 exercise. So.
So um, what's um, so uh, what would you just call it? Uh, Fatsicides or hip? What's it called again? What the calinetics that I do? My turning exercises. Um, no, you're doing with this guy from. Oh, fatnosis, Steve. Fatnosis, that's it. Is it yeah. a hypnosis or? Yes, yeah, it's sort of hypnosis and it's suggestion um, that it's just reiterating that you are too gorgeous to be fat. And the fat is the lard, the fat's melting. And it's it's just not focused on food at all. It's on a positive mental behavioural patterns really um and it, it's just putting those into your mindset and stuff <laughs> so, my phone's just gone off <laughs> <laughs> basics basics <laughs> but it happened but you know that's that's what happens when when you go live anything can happen like yeah. technical issues Phones going off, dogs barking, neighbours making noises. It's just, it's just one of those, one of those things that that happens. So, are you, um, so, so you're not sort of like not eating anything in in particular. So, I mean, do you still kind of like, um, you know, so, so you just stick into salads and stuff like that, or do you still have the odd bit of pizza and chips and, or are you just mainly sticking to healthy stuff? No, it's kind of like an 80-20 um, food plan. That's, it's not really a food plan. It's just 80% um, you're eating healthily during the week. But it's the 20% is a little bit of what you fancy. So my 20% is normally a takeaway, a bottle of wine, chalky, crisps, whatever. Um, because if if it's so regimented you're not going to lose any weight because you're going to be thinking i want this that and the other and like steve says when you go on holiday go and enjoy it have your mm. wine have your takeaways have a holiday because when you come back and then you just fit back into the 80 20 again you lose what you put on quite quickly and it, it's just a freedom it's not it's just not what you meant by good days, bad days. You'd be naughty. It's none of that because there is no food that you can't have. It's your choice. You've got that choice. And then if you, if I haven't lost any weight one week, it's like, mm, I've had too much of that. So just claw it back a bit. Um, and it's just balancing it out. But if you've got a, a deficit of what you're eating to your exercise you will lose weight and it's just changing your whole mindset that you you can have those biscuits if you want it it doesn't matter but then just have something healthier for either breakfast or, or lunch just to balance and it works it's, it's working for me yeah so so it's kind of like really um mind, mindset really is such a big um important part to play in getting your getting yourself in that in that right right mind um thing so so do you do any your own particular um sort of like obviously do the affirmations and that but do you do anything else to kind of like keep you in that mind mindset just the feeling that I get for my clothes feeling looser and I can move better. Um, like the other day, my tummy, when I when it used to be really fat, would wedge in the steering wheel. And the other morning, I noticed there's a gap. And it's like, wow. And I like having to have an extension belt if ever I went on an aircraft. Really embarrassing. But that was my own fault for, for being big, for being fat. But now I know that I wouldn't need that extension. So with having smaller clothes and like for the month of September, Steve has set an initiative of um, wearing a, a top or trousers or whatever, a size smaller. 
so I've got it hanging on the door here I see it every day and I will get into it so it's little challenges along the way vis visual ones as well that really help me so when I'm eating I'm thinking I am going to get into you and it just reinforces it in my mind and it's brilliant because I can eat what I want but just in, moder me. in moderation yeah and and it is and it's up to you um and it, and it's really um quite brilliant I mean do, do you find doing the blog really has helped you um a lot and helps keep you motivated as well because you're kind of thinking these you know I can't let these people down they're expecting no, me to be doing this exactly and, it, and it's the support I get every day is tremendous and it, it's seeing photos even from three months ago or something it's like wow I can see a real difference and it's it's just like a, a diary but because I love chatting and I love getting involved with people it's like for them as well up to, to me everybody's on my journey yeah yeah exactly no no I've, I've been following you um on, on, on the blog and you know and I, I sort of like see all the pictures um in the post and also some of you know read some of the um stories that other people post on there about their journeys yeah um as well so that must be must be quite a nice feeling to know that with because of what you're doing you're you're helping others and by them posting they're helping someone else as well because it brings different um issues that people might have to a forum that's quite safe where they can help inspire other people definitely and i get inspired by them as well and i mean crikey what they're going through it's like there's no reason why i can't do it and it, it sort of just builds and it's like a, a whole little community of everybody helping everybody else yeah and then i think that that's the important thing you know that that keeps coming up a lot is is community and everyone sort of like helping each other um you know boosting each other giving advice tips and um, but being support um yeah. for 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 people for people out out there and that uh, and yeah and you, you do have quite a nice community on 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 the on the blog so you know how have your um your sort of like family you know how how have they been helping helping you um because because i know from the blog they're really really supportive yeah, um, about what you're doing even coming on walks and jogs with you yeah. <laughs> just really brilliant that they're supporting me what what you know they'll join in with what i'm eating so just need to cook one meal come out for walks and and again when we were out walking we just talk about things we wouldn't talk about at home because you throw you out in nature and it's it's a different conversation and it it just bears me on and, and my walks are getting quicker because i'm getting lighter and it's just yeah it's just brilliant and to be a healthier household is yeah and, and, I, and i suppose it's all it's also a, um uh good, good for your children as well because they're obviously learning um to you know how healthy living um is is good for them yeah and it's like when i do a salad and it just smells so fresh and clean and nice and the different textures and colors i love it where before salad just to me that was rabbit food and i wouldn't go near it but now <laughs> it's just a smell it's, it's lovely with a bit of chicken or a bit of cheese, an egg, and mayonnaise on it, and it it's just lovely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think my mindset kind of like it's like I eat a salad, but then I feel hungry afterwards because it's like I don't feel like I've eaten eaten anything. But again, that's a, I think that that is a mindset thing, isn't yeah. it? Rather rather than an actual um, an actual physical thing um in in there i think 
And uh, well, I'm hoping that's what it is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so so what are your so what are the your, um your next challenges and goals that you've got set for yourself um my next one is is to lose the stone by the end of the month mm -hmm. and then i'd like to get another two stone off by christmas and then next year i'm gonna do a skydive for a victim wow. um I'm, I'm mad, but it's just something. I think for so many years I didn't live a life for me. Hmm. Like now, with being fitter, healthier, and I've got my own thoughts, my own perspectives, and things. I just want to live my life now. There's no point in looking back because that's gone, it's in the past. So, looking forward to the future now, I just want to grab every opportunity and even if it's something that I think, oh, scary or, oh, I've, I've messed that up. I haven't really messed it up because I've learned and from the experience mm. so that it helped me grow as a person as well. And it's just learning experiences and taking on and, and then that will hopefully help me support other people and encourage other people to go and live life that you want to do yeah we we, we which 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 is that which you know which is absolutely um um amazing you know the the fact that that you are that you are an inspiration to others and you know you're being inspired by others as well to to go out and and, and do these and do these things you know hats off to you it's, it's absolutely brilliant that 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 you're doing that you know that, that you're doing this and to actually see you, you know, losing the weight as well, um, and looking healthier is is really brilliant to watch and see, um, you, you know. So, so I really, I really do like, um, you know, watching the watching the vlog um, and, and and seeing how how you go. Do you find that um, it's easy to do the vlog every day, or? Do you feel sometimes, oh, I've got to do the blog again today and I've got other stuff I should be doing? I love it because it, it's become routine for me. And it's when I don't update because of, of something's happened, I think, oh, I need to get back on it. Um, but doing it, sometimes I update two, three times a day because I just get in that real positive frame of mind and... I just want to spur other people on and and just if one person it helps then that's brilliant because it's it's just getting that that self-belief and it, yeah it's just routine now and it's like i love it <laughs> <laughs> oh that, 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 that that's been you you really are you really are such an inspiration so as you know, I do um, guide meditations, angel cards. So each week I like to ask my guests, um, would you like me to do a mini guide for meditation or an angel card for yourself and those watching? What would you like me to do? Could you do an angel card, please, Mike? Of course, of course. <laughs> Everyone always loves angel cards. And oh, I, love, no. I love doing the angel cards as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. So click cleanse and a bliss okay and as usual you know i don't do the cards to predict the future and um, the cards are what you need to know for your highest good um, at this moment in time so what does sita and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time what does sita and everyone who's watching this live for the replay need to know for their highest good at this moment in time okay that's the way the cards go they just jump around okay so let's see what does everyone need to know okay we have vast vistas expand your horizons there you go. 
which is really quite apt with what you're with what you're doing at this moment in time um you, you know where you are expanding what you're doing where you're going um and that so it's really sort of like confirmation for you um you know that you're you're doing the you're doing you know you're doing the right thing you're on the right path um for this and for everyone who's actually um watching this um you know it is now time to start expanding your horizons um to see the whole picture not just the, the tiny part of your life but your whole life um how how it's how it's going because when you start looking at the um larger picture and taking those steps to do it it's amazing what what comes into your life and and that so it's it's brilliant that cards actually come actually come out um for you it's, it's com you know as confirmation for you and it's, as you were saying you know um where you've been on this journey and you're going out and you're taking action you're coming across people that are actually helping you on your journey yeah Oh, are you still there? I am, Ray, but I can't really hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay, maybe it's because I had the card um, in front of me. So um, what I was saying is um, you're kind of like where you've gone out and, um, you know, done the things, taken action and, and that it's brought the right people to you. And that who can who can help you um, with with what you're doing? Definitely, yeah, yeah. So um, before we wrap up, um, Sita, do you have any insights or thoughts that you want to leave those that that have been that have been watching this or or will be watching the replay? Just take one step at a time, and it's just that one step can literally change your whole life, and it's again confidence you're not born with it it's a case of just learning it and i'm still relatively quite early on in it i'm still trying to to build it up but every little thing that i do just helps it build more and more and it, it is just just even if you can walk five steps out your front door and back and then a bit further the next day confidence will grow and, and you will be able to do more or with your food just carry on eating but just take a smaller portion just one less potato or more veg or something and just tell yourself you you can do it and you will mm -hmm. believe in yourself that, that, that that's brilliant yeah the the one less potato that won't work for me my Irish fruit. I love my potatoes. I can live on potatoes. So, so we'd have to think something else, one less something else, or increase my increase my fruit. So, I hope everyone um, you've enjoyed this and found it insightful, and that the words of wisdom Sita has given you um, will help you further on your journey. So, Sita, if people want to um, connect with you, how do they do that? What's the best way for them to do that? My, my main platforms, Facebook, Sita's Health Blog. Um, I'm on Twitter, Sita J at Twitter, or Sita, Sita's Health Blog on Instagram. Those are the main platforms that, that I use. Okay, and what I'll do is well, um, I'll put those links in the. Um, in in the in the, in the thing at, in in the comments um, at the end, so if people want to can, um, connect with it. Um, so if you've been, you know been watching this live or you're watching the replay um, and you want to ask any questions um, or leave any comments, then you're more than welcome to because Sita and I will be checking back um, and answering these because I know some people don't like doing it live because they're busy um, listening. So thank you everyone for watching and I would like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny um, just like you 
And if you have reached that crossroads in your life and need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. So please reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video chat where we can find out more about each other. I can educate you on what I do and um, we can see if I can help you. And also, if future life progression interests you and you want to uh, learn how to do it to help other people, whether you're an existing therapist who wants to add um, to their skill set or someone who wants a business, then I'll be teaching a three day certified future life progression practitioners training on the 15th, 16th, and 17th of November at the Claverton Hotel in Blackheath. Um, so feel free to contact me for more details. I mean, there is an early bird offer going on, but only until the end of this month, 30th September. So if you want to come along and do it, you need to get in there, there quick. Um, so I look forward to seeing you all next Wednesday, where I'll be taking you back to a past life. So Sita, again, thank you so much for um, coming back on the show again. And maybe we'll get you on next year once you've done your skydive. I'd so love to. Thanks for having me. That, that's fine. So everyone, thank you for watching. Um, Sita, don't go anywhere. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye. Bye-bye.